It's left extra long. He is wearing phylacteries. Deuteronomy 6, 4 through 9. Deuteronomy 11, 13 through, 13 through 21. Hear, O Israel, the Lord our God, the Lord is one. Of the Lord your God, the Lord your heart, the Lord your soul, the Lord your wife. These words which I command you this day, teach them diligently to your children. When you sit at home, when you rise up, when you lie down, when you walk by the way. You will bind them for a sign upon your arm, frontless between your eyes, on the doorpost of your house and your gateway. What did we just see on the gate? That fancy thing? The mezuzah. A mezuzah. Mezuzah. And those words are written inside. If you listen to my word, Deuteronomy 11, 13 through 21, I will send you rain. If you don't listen to my word, I'm not going to send you rain. And they're going to perish quickly over the good land that the Lord your God gives to you. But then came the hell of Bethel, and he wanted to rebuild the city of Jericho. You were there yesterday. But it had been cursed by Joshua. It will only be rebuilt at the expense of the firstborn and youngest son. He removes that curse in 1 Kings 16. He rebuilds Jericho that falls in the northern kingdom. Well, Brought in foreign gods? Not going to send you any rain. Wonder why you went to Mount Carmel? Because of the foreign gods, the Baals. You bring them in, I don't send you rain. Look at 1 Kings 18. When Ahab said to Elijah, you trouble of Israel? He didn't trouble Israel. Ahab did. You brought in the foreign gods. Did you marry the visit skull? This daughter, the king of the Phoenicians, and you bring in the Baals? I'm not going to send you rain for that. Maybe Mr. Trump took a page out of that. I'm going to give people money to oppose me? No way. And he stopped a lot of flowing money for people that want to fight him. So maybe he's taken a biblical concept there. So we're looking down, but men and women do not mix in Jewish circles of prayer. You see, all the men together, all the waving backwards and forwards, every bone in their body will say, Psalm 35, flickering like the candle of God representing the life. Ah. What a little prayer needed, not just one. Ladies, you are closer to us. <coughs> So we're going to divide men and women, we'll talk a little bit more about that later on, of the need of vision and why that happens. But right now let's deal with our temple. So we're coming up onto the temple now. Oh, oh. oh that's good, yeah. yeah. <laughs> Mamma mia! <laughs> Your favorite color, even. I was trying to get you blue. Yes, but I didn't know how long. Down towards the ankle. Okay. To the ankles, you got to pull it down more. <laughs> okay, folks. We're now onto the location that has become known as Temple Mount. Many would take a seat. 